The correct way to use a freeway exit ramp is to a. Slow down before entering the exit ramp. b. Slow down once moving onto the exit ramp. c. Keep your speed constant once in the exit ramp. d. Pass slower traffic in the exit ramp. b. Slow down once moving onto the exit ramp. When using a freeway exit ramp, do not slow down until you move onto the exit ramp. Your tire blows out while you are driving. You should A. Slam on your brakes. B. Hold your steering wheel tightly and slow to a stop. C. Keep driving normally. D. Turn on your emergency flashers and continue driving. B. Hold your steering wheel tightly and slow to a stop. If you experience a tire blowout, do not immediately apply the brakes. Grip the steering wheel firmly and steer to remain in your traffic lane. Reduce your speed gradually by releasing the accelerator and staying off the brakes. Once you are moving very slowly, apply the brakes lightly and pull off the road into a safe area. You may drive in the HOV lane if A. Your vehicle has two or more occupants. B. You are driving more slowly than the flow of traffic. C. You are driving more quickly than the flow of traffic. D. You are trying to get somewhere quickly. A. Your vehicle has two or more occupants. Some highways reserve the left lane for vehicles with two or more occupants. These high occupancy vehicle HOV lanes are identified by signs and diamond pavement symbols. Drivers may not park within fill in the blank of a fire hydrant. A. 40 feet. B. 25 feet. C. 15 feet. D. 20 feet. C. 15 feet. You should not park within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. An improperly parked vehicle may cause a crash. Want to ace you DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Allow a larger space cushion than usual when stopping. A. On an incline. B. At an intersection. C. At a stop sign. D. At a toll plaza. A. On an incline. You should allow more space in front of your vehicle than usual when you are stopped on an uphill slope. If the vehicle in front of you rolls backward toward your vehicle when traffic begins to move again, it is less likely that there will be a collision. What is a, no zone? A. A designated no passing zone. B. A one-way traffic area. C. The blind spot of a large vehicle. D. An area designated for motor vehicles. C. The blind spot of a large vehicle. No zones, are the large blind spots around trucks and other large vehicles. Drivers of smaller vehicles should avoid lingering in, no zones. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a minimum blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of A. 0.05%. B. 0.08%. C. 0.02%. D. 0.1%. B. 0.08%. For drivers age 21 or older, it is illegal to operate a motor vehicle with a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of 0.08% or higher.
Driving while under the influence of alcohol is not only illegal, but dangerous. A speed restriction sign. A. May be ignored in rainy, snowy, or icy conditions. B. Has a triangular shape. C. Is blue with black lettering. D. Shows a recommended speed for a curve or turn. D. Shows a recommended speed for a curve or turn. Curve and turn warning signs often have attached advisory speed signs that show a recommended driving speed for drivers in the curves and turns. Although a driver may feel comfortable driving at a higher speed in fair weather, they should never do so under rainy, snowy, or icy conditions. If you are stopped by law enforcement while driving at night, you should a. Place your vehicle in neutral. b. Exit the vehicle. c. Turn on your dome light. d. Turn off your headlights. C. Turn on your dome light. If you are stopped by a police officer while you are driving, you should safely pull to the right side of the road, if possible, or to a well-lit area. Park your vehicle, turn off the engine, and turn on the hazard lights. If you have been pulled over at night, be sure to turn on the dome light inside your car. If you miss your exit on an interstate expressway, a. Stop and make a U-turn. b. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. c. Roll down your window and ask the driver next to you for help. d. Back up on the highway. b. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. If you miss your turn or exit, do not back up or try to turn around on the highway. Go to the next exit and safely turn around. You may drive around or under a gate that is being lowered or raised at a railroad crossing. A. As long as an approaching train is not too close. B. If your vehicle can do so without damaging the gate. C. If you first look carefully in both directions. D. Under no circumstances. D. Under no circumstances. Flashing red lights, lowered crossing gates, and or bells at a railroad crossing mean that you must come to a complete stop. You must not go across the tracks until the lights and bells have stopped and the crossing gates are completely up. Do not drive around or under a gate that is moving up or down. A driver approaching a flashing red traffic signal must A. Slow down at the light. B. Drive carefully without stopping. C. Merge to the right. D. Stop before entering the intersection. D. Stop before entering the intersection. A flashing red light means that you must stop, yield to traffic and pedestrians, and go only when it is safe. At a railroad crossing, a flashing red light indicates that a train is approaching. Yield to the train, and go only when the lights have stopped flashing and all other active warning devices deactivate. What might happen when alcohol is combined with another drug? A. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be increased. B. Nothing will happen. C. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be reduced. D. The effects of only the alcohol may be reduced. A. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be increased. Consuming both alcohol and another drug may enhance the effects of both. For example, taking one drink when you are also using a cold remedy could affect you as if you have had several drinks. You are driving along a street and hear a siren. You cannot immediately see the emergency vehicle. 
You should A. Keep driving until you see the vehicle. B. Pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. C. Slow down. Don't stop until you see it. D. Speed up and turn at the next intersection. B. Pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. If you hear a siren or an air horn close by but do not know exactly where the emergency vehicle is, safely pull over to the right side of the road and stop until you are sure it is not headed toward you. This sign means A. Keep right. B. Low shoulder. C. No parking at any time. D. Lane ends. A. Keep right. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This regulation sign indicates that drivers should keep right to avoid an upcoming potential driving hazard. You are waiting to turn left at a multi-lane intersection and opposing traffic is blocking your view. You should a. Accelerate rapidly when the first lane you need to cross is clear. B. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. C. Wait for an oncoming driver to wave you across the intersection. D. Edge your car into each lane of opposing traffic as soon as it clears. B. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. You should never start a left turn until you can see that all the lanes you need to cross are clear and that you can safely make the turn. When making a right turn, you should not A. Signal to other drivers B. Swing too wide for your lane C. Slow down. D. Move to the far right lane. B. Swing too wide for your lane. You should slow down and activate your right turn signal before making a right turn. Be careful not to turn too wide for your lane, as this may interfere with other vehicles. When approaching a flashing red traffic light, drivers should A. Drive through the intersection if there is no crossing traffic. B. Continue driving, as they have the right of way. C. Stop if a police officer is nearby. D. Treat the light like a stop sign. D. Treat the light like a stop sign. Flashing red lights are used at dangerous intersections. Treat them like stop signs. As you near an intersection, the traffic light changes from green to yellow. Your best action is to A. Speed up to beat the red light. B. Apply the brakes sharply to stop. C. Be prepared to stop in the center of the intersection. D. Be prepared to stop before the intersection. D. Be prepared to stop before the intersection. A steady yellow traffic light indicates that the light will soon change to red. You should be prepared to stop for the red light, if it is safe to do so. If you're going to turn left onto a one-way street, you should complete the turn into A. The right lane. B. The lane closest to your previous lane. C. Either lane. D. Neither lane. B. The lane closest to your previous lane. You should always turn from the lane that is closest to the direction you want to go. Turn into the lane closest to your previous lane. When driving on wet pavement, it's important to remember A. That pavement is especially slippery right after it starts to rain. B. 
that wet roads can cause hydroplaning. C. To give yourself additional space when coming to a stop. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Wet roadway surfaces can be dangerously slick, especially immediately following a rainfall. When you are driving on wet roads, your vehicle is traveling on a thin layer of oil, dirt, and water. Slow down when there is heavy rain, standing water, or slush on the road to reduce the risk of your wheels losing traction on the slick surface. If your car starts to skid, turn your steering wheel. A. To keep the front wheels straight. B. In the direction you want the vehicle to go. C. In the opposite direction of the skid. D. In any direction. It doesn't matter. B. In the direction you want the vehicle to go. If your vehicle goes into a skid, you should turn the steering wheel in the direction you want the vehicle to go. As soon as the vehicle begins to straighten out, turn the steering wheel back the other way. This road sign means A. No passing zone. B. Winding road. C. Pedestrian crossing. D. Low ground railroad crossing. D. Low ground railroad crossing. This sign indicates a low ground railroad crossing. Where this sign is present, railroad tracks cross the road at a steep slope and the bottom of low vehicles may drag or get caught on the tracks. Motorcycles on the road? A. Are vehicles with the same rights and responsibilities as larger motor vehicles? B. Do not follow specific rules of the road. C. Must always yield the right of way to larger motor vehicles. D. Are nothing to worry about. A. Are vehicles with the same rights and responsibilities as larger motor vehicles. Motorcycles on the road are vehicles with the same rights and responsibilities as larger motor vehicles. Drivers of cars and trucks should respect the rights of motorcycles. On slippery roads, you should A. Slow down. B. Drive more quickly. C. Drive the speed limit, with caution. D. Not drive more quickly than 20 miles per hour. A. Slow down. You should slow down at the first sign of rain, snow, or sleet, all of which can create slippery road conditions. When conditions on the road are less than ideal, safety may require that you drive more slowly than the posted speed limit. A yellow light that flashes on and off means A. Stop and look for other vehicles, then go if there is no traffic. B. Stop and wait for a green light. C. Speed up to clear the intersection quickly. D. Slow down and proceed with caution. D. Slow down and proceed with caution. A flashing yellow traffic light means drivers should slow down and proceed with caution. You are coming to an intersection and have a green light. Pedestrians are crossing against the red. You should. A. Honk your horn. B. Speed up and pass in front of the pedestrians. C. Stop to let the pedestrians cross safely. D. Drive close to the pedestrians and frighten them so they'll think twice before crossing against a red light. C. Stop to let the pedestrians cross safely. Yield to pedestrians and cars that may be caught in an intersection when you have a green light. Be careful around pedestrians under every circumstance. This sign means A. Slippery when wet. 
B. Watch for drunk drivers. C. Dangerous curb ahead. D. Bump in the road ahead. A. Slippery when wet. Warning signs are usually diamond shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign warns drivers to be extra careful when the pavement is wet because the road may become slippery, making vehicles more difficult to control. While backing, you should A. Rely only on your mirrors. B. Flash your lights. C. Open your door to see if it is safe to proceed. D. Turn your head and look through the rear window. D. Turn your head and look through the rear window. When intending to back up, always check behind your vehicle before getting in. Children and small objects are difficult to see from the driver's seat. While backing, turn your head so you can see through the rear window. Do not depend only on your mirrors or sensors. What is the appropriate action to take when approaching a railroad crossing that does not have signals to direct traffic? A. Always bring the car to a complete stop. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop. C. All railroad crossings have signals so you will never encounter this situation. D. Increase your speed to get across the tracks quickly. B. Slow down and be prepared to stop. When approaching an unmarked railroad crossing, slow down and be prepared to stop. Before you cross, be sure that no trains are approaching from either direction on any track. If you see or hear a train coming, stop at a safe distance from the nearest track and wait to proceed until after the train passes. <laughs>